Hello, and welcome back to the cabin. As you can see, I've made no progress whatsoever. I haven't had a chance to do anything with the track, unfortunately. But um, I did give it a quick clean just now, so that's progress, I suppose. But the wind down to Christmas is always a busy one for work and all that. So um, yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll get some stuff done with that. But for now, we're not talking about the track. We are talking about something else altogether. talking about is this. This is the beautiful new, well I say new, recent, it's been out for a little while but um, I've just got my hands on it, the new uh, DTM Mercedes 190E from Slot It and it is gorgeous, look at that. I'm a big fan of Slot It cars um, and this one definitely doesn't disappoint. So let's have a little closer look at the car shall we. I really like the look of this Mercedes, it just looks, uh, looks so cool. Some of the details that Slotit does, um, if we get it to focus in on here, so we've got the little, little roundel on the front there, we've got the little delicate wing mirrors and uh, all the nice little touches, the uh, aerials and bits, even just the, the headlights, everything just looks really nice on this car, it's really nice and crisp. I mean, admittedly, all this is probably going to break off after the first evening's racing, but I appreciate the fact that Slotit make the effort to uh, kind of get these details on their cars, I mean, it's... It's absolutely gorgeous. Now you got a nice uh, silver livery on this one. This, I believe, was one of the works entries by uh, Mercedes back in the day. And uh, as you can see, it was sponsored by the city of Berlin um, as part of their uh, efforts to win the 2000 Olympics. And then on here, you can see all the little signatures and bits that uh, I think these were the athletes at the time that supported the city's bid for the Olympics. So they all had their signatures put on the car, and that's all been recreated on this. So the detail on it's lovely. Now the uh, Olympic bid wasn't successful, I don't know if you'll remember, but uh, I think the 2000 Olympics actually went to Sydney. But this car was successful. Now this is the number five car, driven by Ellen Law. Now, I think it's pronounced Law, please correct me if I'm wrong. But um, they had some big names racing for them back in the day, and uh, I'm glad they went with this one because Ellen Law is here in there, she's got all her helmet detail, it's all correct and everything, as you'd expect. She was, and is to this day, the only woman to have ever won a DTM race. And uh, it was in this car and at that race. So I think you agree it's quite a significant moment in the sport and it's uh, quite good that Slotit's encaptured it in this uh, new release. So, yes, very nice indeed. Now inside, if you've ever seen inside of a Slotit DTM car, this will all look very familiar. It's the same inline configuration with their motor pods, same gearing they normally use, uh, same aluminium rear wheels, plastic fronts. Um, more recent ones have got this clip plug here ready for uh, a digital chip to be installed so it can be done nice and easily. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as every other slotted DTM car you're going to open up. So it holds for grub screws here and in the top of the axle, so you can put some grub screws in there and set your ride height for the front. So yeah, if you've raced uh, one of slotted DTM cars in the past, this will all look very familiar for you. You can see the body's mounted by a single post at the front and the rear, which means uh, it's really simple to get a nice body float on this. Yeah, see that screw back together? That's just got a quarter of a turn off on the front and rear screws, and uh, look at that. Look at all that float we've got going on. But as pretty as this thing is, it's slotted, so it's going to get raced. So um, let's see how... Uh, how it handles around the track and uh, see how it compares to some of the other cars in this range.
is a beautiful car. I love it. Runs great. Runs fast. It's quicker than the Alpha. It's quicker than the Skyline. I don't know if it's quicker than the Calibra. I don't own one, so I've got no basis for comparison. Um, but I'm willing to bet give it a good run for its money. Even though it looks narrow and tall, it's a beautiful handling, handling car. So yeah. Love it.